Hello, my name is Phil Branch. Welcome to the Dixon Gallery and Gardens. I'm a docent here. I want to welcome you to the Dixon today. Uh, the museum currently has a traveling exhibit called America's Impressionism Echoes of a Revolution. It's a very wonderful exhibit, beautiful, beautiful oil paintings. If you're the kind of person who might like to look at beautiful paintings, I highly recommend that you come to the museum to see this exhibit um, and see the beautiful artworks that are on display. Just a little background information. This exhibit is about the American artists in the late 19th century, early 20th century, who are influenced by the French Impressionism and French Impressionism and what they are doing over in France. France, um, at the, in the late 1800s, had a very stylized system of art. It was actually funded by the government. Artists were expected to paint in a particular fashion. Very, very high realism, almost super realism, almost a photographic light. A group of artists um, decided to go 180% away from that and started a whole new uh, method of painting, uh, a genre of painting called Impressionism eventually. But Impressionism was totally different than French art that had come before it. The Impressionists wanted to capture the effects of light and atmosphere, uh, the effects of um, light shining on things, going outdoors. They did a lot of their painting outdoors. Their brush strokes and their method of applying paint was very, very loose. Um, it was almost haphazard uh, and was so different than what had taken place before that the artists who painted in the current style in France thought, thought that these artists had kind of lost their minds, gone crazy. But eventually French Impressionism becomes the preferred style in France. Meanwhile, in America, artists are learning their skills. They're learning how to, to paint and become artists themselves. A lot of them would travel abroad. They would go to the countries of Europe, especially France, to see what the French Impressionists had done. Today, I'm standing beside this particular painting that I'm going to focus, focus on in this video and talk about an artist whose name is Maurice Prendergast. He uh, is from the Boston area. He um, kind of self-taught. He taught himself how to paint. Now he does go to France eventually to study art, but he was later in time than uh, the, the French Impressionists themselves. And today when artists or art historians look at his work, they almost call him a post-Impressionist which means that Impressionism itself had somewhat changed and gone off into a new direction. So Prendergast, post-Impressionist, also is even called a modernist at times. He studied, like I said, for three years in France and became uh, close friends with Matisse, learned a lot from Matisse. He comes back to America and he starts painting a uh, very, very shy man, uh, never married, uh, stayed to himself, and lived with his brother. He loved to do kind of crowd scenes, people in parks and things like that. The title of this painting is called Landscape with Figures. It was painted sometime between 1910 and 1912. It's Boston. It's in a city park which is on the shoreline, and off in the distance there, you can see water behind this group of people. When you look at any of Prendergast's works, you will see bright, bright colors. He had gone to a different palette to where he almost used the paint directly from the tube, no mixing at all. And that is very evident in this painting. If you were to look at these figures standing in the foreground, you will see ladies with a bright orange dress, bright red. A lot of them have bonnets on their heads, straw hats, maybe an umbrella. Um, 
They're, they are mainly ladies uh, who are in this group of figures, but there are a couple of gentlemen here and here, and a small dog there. It's like a lovely summer, sunny day. Um, notice, um, like I said, the bright colors. Sometimes his paintings are, call, are, are described as having jewel tones. Uh, a jewel tone would be like a ruby or a sapphire. Colors are that bright. Postmodernism, they get even more loose with, with their brush stroke than the Impressionists do. And if you come to see this exhibit in person, look at this painting and notice, especially up in the trees and in the figures, that it is almost unrepresentational. We can tell that that is a tree, but actually, it's if you were to look at it up close, it's globs of paint. Uh, as a matter of fact, in some of these areas here, he has let the paint drip and, and, have, and have runs down to create the effect of maybe shade or maybe the leaves or whatever coming down. The figures have no uh, facial features at all. They, they actually have oval colored shapes for their faces. So it was a bit, you know, an interesting style of painting, very avant-garde, very, very avant-garde. Prendergast um, did well. He, he uh, was a successful artist. Another thing that I want to point out to you with this particular painting is the beautiful frame that is in, it is in. Um, this frame was made by his brother, Charles Prendergast, who hand carved it out of wood. Charles was also an artist. But notice how the shapes, which are in this kind of gold painted frame, mimic the swirls that are going on in the trees, also possibly in the figure's dresses, bonnets, and things like that. It fits perfectly with the painting. A lot of times when you'll see a painting in a museum, the, paint, the frame has been changed out a couple of times from what it was originally framed in. So I um, love this painting. I, I, I think that it has such a beautiful atmosphere and the colors are very beautiful in it too. So I want to recommend this exhibit to you too. Please come to the Dixon and see this exhibit in person. It runs until May the 9th. Thank you.